So yeah, we visited all these urban farms and places, and a lot of them were doing this thing called the transition town movement, which is basically transitioning towards the way that we want to live. And it's a, a lot more localized, community-based. Um, you grow food in your backyard with this. You can uh, put solar panels on your roof. It's just a whole new way of seeing the world and seeing our place in it. And so this transition town movement is happening all over the world. There's over a thousand transition towns doing incredible projects. Um, it's basically just neighbors getting together and creating the world they want to live in. And so during this bike trip from, from the East Coast to the West Coast, I got really inspired by all these new people and projects and things I saw. And so I crafted this thing, or you could say it crafted me because I feel like I'm hollow bamboo that the universe jams through. Um, and so this piece is called Transition Town Flowetry by Philosophical. Do you have the drive to create a world that's vibrantly alive? A place where all species can thrive? Well, this here is a gathering of the tribe. Is the nine to five shift gripping your soul? Tired of drifting with the flow of the status quo? Then paradigm shifting is the way to go. Come take a glimpse down the rabbit hole. See, we live within an invisible fence. Everyone's walking around tense, conditioned by our own parents to focus only on future events. But then we miss what's right here on this big, blue, beautiful sphere. Gaia's got a message for us to hear. Do you have headphones in your ear? The, mes the message that Earth has given me is that we must use our abilities within our own vicinities allow our creativities to abolish negativity. Nature saying, mimic me and rejoin the symphony. And if we use permaculture techniques, we'll be having a fresh feast within the next couple weeks. And you may think I sound outlandish, but I don't want our species to vanish. Already billions are famished and ecosystems consistently damaged. But if you take a step back, like Hubble, amidst all of the serious struggles, people are stepping out of their bubbles, coming together and forming big huddles, coming up with solutions to our troubles. So many brainstorms, it's creating puddles. There's a change coming. Can you feel that we're near it? A revolution of mind, body, and spirit. A coalescence of our heads, hands, and hearts. With you and I is where the change starts. So if you feel caged by an isolated feeling, sacred plants may initiate the healing. Layers of separation you will begin peeling. Oh, and did I mention? If you use the power of intention, then your life becomes your own invention. And if you take the time to reclaim your mind, you just might find that all of life is intertwined like an ayahuasca vine or the kundalini in your spine. <laughs> and so I'm here to validate, motivate, and co-create. Because every day on earth is a day to celebrate. And when we all meditate, 
We let blissfulness radiate and demonstrate what can happen when we all collaborate. I recently released my first album, which is called Paradigm Shifting Flow Tree. If anyone would like one, I'd be happy to share this. Also, just released my first book, Paradigm Shifting Flow Book, which will soon be available online. And my last favorite item that I did bring all the way across America is one of these. Which is called the octopus head massager and if you haven't tried one of these this is, this is the CIA's newest weapon so when these two big guys are about to duke it out and they're about to just rip each other's head off the CIA will come out of nowhere with these things and just put them on these guys and they'll just melt away so these are pretty magical toys, and uh, so thank you for listening. If you'd like to check out more, my website is phil-osophical.com, and uh, I've just already been inspired by so many of the people and things I've seen here, and I'm very happy to be here. So happy Saturday, my friends. Thank you. Thank you.